The most simple patch is a one-off patch and it contains only one bug fix. Now, you could also get a merge patch which contains two or more bug fixes. And this could be the case if your specific bug fix is dependent on another bug fix. Then we can ship those two in a merge patch. And then we have the bundle patches, which are collections of many bug fixes and release updates and revisions, release update revisions are very good examples of bundle patches. Now let's have a look at what's actually in a patch. And roughly speaking, there can be two kinds of things, files, and SQL or PL SQL. Files could be, for instance, new or changed executables. If there was an error in the SRV CTL utility, we would ship out a new executable with a patch. It could also be libraries, or it could be the files that are used for time zone information. The files are changes to your actual Oracle home to the files that are stored in the operating system. In addition to that, we have SQL or PL SQL changes. These are changes that happen inside the database. This could be, for instance, changes to data dictionary tables. It could be fixes in some of the Oracle maintained packages, like, for instance, DBMS scheduler. Now, how do you apply a patch? Well, if you look in your Oracle home directory and go into the OPAT directory and do an LS, you would see something like this. And there are actually two files that are of interest, the OPATCH and data patch executable. So let's have a closer look at what those two executables can do. Now with OPatch, you can apply binaries or changes to binaries in your Oracle home. So you'll use OPatch to change the files or add new files to your Oracle home. Now, since we are messing with the Oracle home, with the binaries that are running the database, when you use OPatch, it is a requirement that all instances are shut down. All the instances that are running out of that Oracle home has to be shut down. In contrast to that, you can use data patch to apply the SQL or PL SQL changes to the database. Now, since we have to make changes to the actual database, this requires that the database is up and you only have to start the database in normal mode and I know from time to time there is confusion whether you should start the database in upgrade mode or not, but to use data patch, you just need to start the database in normal mode. So let's move on with patching. Our very clear recommendation is that you do out of place patching. What does that mean? Well, imagine that you have your Oracle home. In this case, it's a 1990 Oracle home and you have a database running in that Oracle home. What you should then do is that you should provision a new Oracle home, either install it uh, from scratch or clone an existing Oracle home. You then use OPatch to apply the patch to the Oracle home. You can do that without any downtime because there are no databases running in that Oracle home. Once you've done that, you can shut down your database that runs in the original Oracle home. And you can restart the database in the new Oracle home. You'll notice that the color has changed to green, and that's because we're missing something. We've used OPatch, but we still need to use data patch to get the last changes in. So let's do that now. We call data patch, and please remember always use the minus reverse option of data patch because it gives you much more detailed information that you can use in a situation where you need to debug something. After that, the database turns to green. You can now start to use it. It has been fully patched. And when you try that use case that gave you an error before, now with your bug fix included, the database works perfect again.